Hello everyone, Mr. K here. This video will give you answers to a couple of the first worksheets that we've done. Just in case you've got a couple few answers wrong, you could start and stop this anytime that you like. I'll go through all the answers. Hopefully this will be a help to you. First things first, we're looking for perimeter and area. So when I see a shape like this that has sixes in three out of the four sides, we know that fourth side is also supposed to be a six. So after we fill that in for the perimeter, remember we add the outside. Six, 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 and six is 24. Make sure you label that with meters. For the area, the area of a square is the length times width equals area. So six times six is 36 meters. Remember three and four for a triangle. This has confused some people and I wanna make sure that any time you look at a triangle and you're trying to find the area, then you need to look for the right angle symbol. That right angle symbol tells you which two sides of the triangle to use as a base and a height. Now I can't do this on my smart board, but if you have your paper in front of you, if you printed it, if you turn that paper upside down, you'll be able to see that right angle a little better. So for the area, I'm going to use this side and I'm going to use this side because whichever two sides that right angle symbol touches, those are the two sides you use to find the area. I have a lot of students over the years that somehow want to use that five for a base or a height, but you can't do that because the right angle symbol is here. So for the area of a triangle, it's base times height over two. Because remember, when you have a triangle, a triangle is really half of a four-sided object. So if it's half of that four-sided object, we have to divide that by two. So if I take three times four, which is 12, and divide it by two, I get six yards squared. Oops, let's put a squared sign over here. Six yards squared for my area answer. For my perimeter, I'm going to add all three sides. 8 plus 4 is 12. All right, for number 5 and number 6, find the perimeter of a rectangle, very similar, plus, 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 plus. Okay, I'm adding all 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 14 is 24. That would be 24 yards. For the area, the area of a rectangle is just the base times the height. I wrote this with a dot because I want to make sure you all understand that this sign means multiplication and this sign means multiplication. So a base times height of a rectangle is 5 times 7. 5 times 7 is 35 yards squared. Next, if we find the area of a parallelogram, Remember, a parallelogram is still very similar to a rectangle. You're going to do the base times the height. For a parallelogram, we have to look at finding that height. To find the height, you need to have a right angle symbol. And this is where sometimes sixth graders get confused. Just because you're finding a right angle in a parallelogram does not mean you're dividing that by two because it's a whole parallelogram. You're not dividing it in half. If it was a triangle, then you would divide it by two. But a regular parallelogram, you are simply finding the right angle to find that height. Once again, remember to look for that right angle symbol because those are the two lines you would use to actually multiply for the area. So this little dotted line doesn't mean anything. It's invisible, just like this five mile line is invisible. But I'm going to use this number for my height, and I'm gonna use this number since that's the base I'm using to find my height. 
So 6 times 5 is 30, and there we have 30 miles squared. Now I'm going to erase this real quick. Erase the answer too, sorry guys. Because when I am finding the perimeter, I'm only looking at the solid lines. I'm not looking at the height. So when I do perimeter, it's 6 plus 6 and 7, wait for it, plus 7. Because remember, I have to do all four sides. Just because all four sides aren't listed on the paper does not mean I don't have to add all four of those sides. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 12 is 26. And I have 26 miles for my perimeter. Hope that makes sense so far. Let's go down to the last two problems. I should say, yeah, the last two problems. Find the perimeter of this area, or perimeter and area. Again, the perimeter of a triangle are the three solid lines that make up the triangle. So I'm not using the height to find the perimeter. So five plus five plus six is 16 yards. I'm going to erase that and you are welcome to stop this if needed at any point in time and then start again. When I'm looking for the area of a triangle, now I have to remember base times height divided by two equals area of a triangle. Write that down somewhere, people. You have a note page somewhere. You need to know whether you're using the notes you printed for me or whether you're writing this in your notebook somewhere. Make sure you remember that the area of a triangle is divided in half. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to look for this right angle sign. That right angle sign is what I'm going to use to determine, there we go, which two lines I'm going to use for my base and height. So here is one line that that right angle sign touches. Here is another line that that right angle sign touches. I circled it so you could see it. 6 times 4 is 24, divided by 2 is 12. And there's my yard squared. Okay? Last one. Find the perimeter of another triangle. Now, I see a lot of numbers here, and some of you get confused by that, but I'm going to remind you again, when I do perimeter, it's the solid lines. It's not the height. I cross that out because I'm not using that for perimeter. So I'm using 3 plus 8, which is 11, plus 7 is 18 feet. And that's how I determine my perimeter. If I'm looking for the height of my triangle, now I'm going to again go back to base times height divided by 2. And because there is no right angle in the triangle, I have to create a right angle. So again, I'm going to circle this sign. It touches the 6-foot line, so I know this is the line I'm using for my height. And then the dotted line, remember, is invisible. Just like the height is invisible, but I'm using this line. The fact that they don't touch each other doesn't matter. It's that right angle symbol that determines which base I'm using. So that three times six is 18, divided by two is nine square feet. And there you have your answers for your first two days of school. Real school, we're not counting last week. Thanks guys, have a good day.